All right, and welcome. Here for the 1v1 to decide pick priority. Getting on down to it. As uh, it's myself, B-Cop, joined here by Winter Dota, ready to give you the best action we can with this uh, this 1v1. I know I missed uh, a couple of the days in the last few. Um, how were the 1v1s yesterday? Uh, not as fun as the Us Spirit, Us Spirit matchup. <laughs> the Spirit Breaker, Spirit Breaker one was pretty fun as well. Yeah, that was the coin toss, essentially. <laughs> so just Where, whoever hits seventeen percent more. CM against Jug. This one hmm. seems maybe okay for this this Crystal Maiden. S CM feels like she should be able to do well. I mean, I guess as a Jug, you just need healing ward early so you can keep farming. I mean, I think once you get level uh, level 5, you can kill the CM easily. Level 3 and level 5. Those are the two timings that you can try to have a crack on the CM. Well, it's, uh, it's Emo against ZC. ZC is the uh, mid for Ocean. Emo the uh, mid for IG. So we got our... Uh, one of the only mid v mid matchups. I feel like we see a lot of three v fours, a lot of four v fives. I'm not sure if that this brings is, anything into it. This is like a fair, a fair one. One of the fair ones. I feel like that spirit breaker was definitely one of the most fair ones there. Oh, spirit! Oh, spirit is also fair. Yeah. And the difference was the bracer on that one. Yeah, but the rules were. Not very fair because he was a support player against uh, Fifth Gen. Yeah. Although I know um, Somnus played that Earth Spirit mid, so maybe we could have seen uh, him do that Earth Spirit and it could have been a little bit even. I mean, the hero feels better when you function him as a core, though. After the buffs, I feel like he does a lot better compared to a support. A lot of uh, us priest spammers right now. I'm not sure you know. Emo forced to use that Blade Fury. That is a, a long cooldown at level 1. 42 seconds is uh, a long ways to wait, and he hasn't actually gone into the healing ward yet. Although he is holding a. Oh, well, he was holding a skill point. Now he's gone into the level 2 in the Blade Fury. Oh, not like he needs. At the moment, still has a self. Are you surprised that he uh, has Ags queued? <laughs> or he might just die here. Emo on the high ground, mischance. Ooh, one more. Oh, Emo pops Imagine that self. Dream, dream about the Ag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. ZC, Crystal made him pushing the jug all the way back to get to this courier. Yep, he's regretting not having a point in healing one. He has mana, but no. This is uh, the rough times right now for Emo, and now a level behind this Crystal Maiden. Yeah, the one level in the Arcane Aura gives so much for the Crystal Maiden. 1.5 mana, extra 1.5 mana region and the carry. Like every wave of creeps, he just chucks two novas at you. Well, I, I feel like it's got to be that healing ward coming in here on level four. There we go. Yeah, you know a little bit more sustainability in this lane. The uh, the CM should out uh, harass the job. Like the jug has to constantly buy regen. And CM doesn't really have to buy much regen. So she's getting items. Items to win new games. Still praying on the uh, the ags right now for emo. Crystal Maiden just about to hit this level 5. ZC, I would favor him right now. 
I mean, if he manages to get the eggs, I'm done for the day. <laughs> you won't be seeing me after this. I'm... Could he even get it in 10 minutes? Just strictly mid no. CS farm, even if he hit every last hit. Uh, you have a lot about. Yeah, you actually can if you just buy the eggs. You have about 4.55k network if you. You get everything. At 10 minutes, but that's including the bounty rewards. Oh, ZC thought about it. He certainly thought about it. Salve and the Healing Ward comes out. He's sitting level 5. 3 in the Crystal Nova. Another Nova. Another Healing Ward. Another Salve. When is this going to end? <laughs> oh, this reminds me of the Shadow Feet. What, what was it? 15 mangoes? Yeah. And it a, was 15 and mangoes mid. Abysmal net worth at what? 6, 7 minutes? 8 minutes? He had like 1k, 1.3k net worth. Yeah, shipped out a couple of salves. Got himself 15 mangoes. It was pretty disgusting. He has, has he ever bought an item on the jug yet? Oh, this is his first uh, win lace. Uh, CM has what, 3 nulls? No, 2 nulls. And the clarity tango is flying in. Oh, Ooh. This is so sad. That frostbite was on a creep. Had he hit it? On Jug, I, I think he's probably close to, if not dead at that moment. Wow. Oh, the glyph. They are allowed to use glyph. Yeah, I, I think we've seen one or two glyphs in our mid, uh, our mid, uh, shows. I could call them, I guess. <laughs> Does he go into the ult at level 6? Is it worth it? Omni slash. <laughs> yeah, that, that's sweet. I mean, yeah, it gives you the armor. I dare you to Omni slash me. I dare you. <laughs> uh, so now he is six. He does have that Omni slash. Does he have enough mana for both stuff? Or he has a stick charge. Yeah, I, I think he's a little short. <laughs> and there's the armor. <laughs> You did say I dare you. All right, so the lane is over. What can he do? <laughs> He's shifting us out. I mean, Another he no mana. He's done. Well, unless he can pick up the region. <laughs> he just calls GG. <laughs> it's not even gonna go to a kill. <laughs> oh my I mean, god. He already lost the lane. It's over. Man, I don't know if everybody was expecting that or if anybody was expecting that, but if you're gonna bring Crystal Maiden into your mid and pubs, that's how you do it. Deep down, I know Ben does that in some smoke, <laughs> in some NA pub <laughs> that nobody knows. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, and then I'm gonna get reported immediately. Well, you better hope your internet allows you to do it tomorrow. Oh my god, that map is still red. It's it's so red. I'm surprised I have internet right now. It's that red, but it's holding. I'm I'm knocking on wood. It's holding for right now. Hopefully, it'll uh, stay the same. Ocean will get priority in their pick in this best of three, and we'll be back with game one in just a moment. So uh, shouldn't be too long. Hopefully, not uh, much of a delay. But stay right there. We'll be right on back. They have the Wyvern Earthshaker. Oh no, I don't like these two supports together. Ah, uh, you have a lot of holes to patch because Earthshaker and Wyvern, you don't uh, do a lot of uh, uh, damage uh, together. And I mean, sure, there's some synergy with the if you get a curse on two to three heroes, Shaker could just follow up with the Echo. But they are very, they're also very weak uh, in the early game. They both of them are not particularly good. At the lanes so you might have to compensate into maybe going for a tri lane and allowing timber sword to solo in a safe lane so he can avoid the monkey king lane monkey king doesn't like to be in a tri lane a tri versus tri lane he hates that he wants to bully that lone timber sword in the lane now you said our shaker winter wyvern supports maybe just maybe timber mid and one of those two heroes in the offlane. So I assume you are thinking about Wyvern because you have that 60 damage. 
Straight orchid? So you become... You, yeah, apology. <laughs> no, no, no. Says Ocean. No, no, no. No such shenanigans. <laughs> so they go for the counter towards the Underlord. Uh, the lane counter slot. Mm. Overall, the lane doesn't feel that great. Oh, the laning phase does The heroes are not that great at laning phase to support. So, because the Underlord might have like a better support. Say they have the Dazzle and Underlord on the same lane and Nyx and Monkey King. The Dazzle Underlord could actually just bully the Slark Wyvern. It all depends on how IG is going to set up their lanes. Uh, we see a lot of uh, teams in this event's profile that have been really Ten smart and creative remaining. about how they are setting up their lanes because everyone knows how important it is the laning phase right now. Remaining. I'm not sure if you watched the game, we had a mid faces void yesterday. Oof. Yeah, uh, I gave it a quick look. I couldn't use too much of my mobile data as I was living in the dark ages. But uh... he wanted he wanted to dodge the Beastmaster and the void solo killed the Ember at level two. You can Wait. take a guess how it happened. But he solo killed the Amber. Oh, and boy. he killed the Amber three times in the lane. Wow. That is uh Definitely an interesting lane and an interesting switch. Because it I mean I guess. Couldn't you have just put the faceless void in the off lane and not thrown him mid? Instead of putting him up against the Beastmaster, you throw him up against uh, that, that what game was in the particular. Uh, that game in particular, he didn't want to go any of the side lanes. He couldn't lane anywhere except for the middle lane. So it was a creative uh, adjustment by it was uh, SCCC on the void. Okay, so, so he knows what he's doing, mid. Let's see if we have any interesting lanes today. Oh, Wind Ranger, that's a new hero or unusual hero. Great against the Monkey King. Very, very good against uh, all these kind of like heroes that want to be on your face and keep right kicking you. But he gets annoyed by the Nyx though. That's like, uh, I hate Nyx, man. I used to play a lot of Wind Ranger. Like this annoying bug will be in this somewhere. And I, I cast my power shot trying to kill someone. And I get stunned. And another stun. And I'm gone. I was hoping for the uh, four position win runner that we saw in LGD just to make my prophecy a reality. But uh, Earthshaker just, takes the just four. To make, just to keep you happy, yeah? <laughs> just so it sounds like I know what I'm talking about when we, when we do these drafts. But uh, are you surprised to see win runner mid? And then, um, you know, because we've been seeing it a lot in the four. I know LGD loves it. Mm -hmm. FY's been playing doesn't it. OD, uh, doesn't OD lose the lane to win runner? I, I remember. Seeing his lane a while back, and Windrunner is able to beat OD, and OD is the last pick here, so they must think that OD actually beats Wind Ranger. But if I think, if you think about it, right, he, he kind of doesn't uh, fear the OD in the lane because you can always dodge the the right clicks and trade. The only thing you need to worry about is the Astro, but Astro has really short range in the early levels, and you are a long range hero, and you can her out harass the OD with your power shot. So I don't think she'll have much of a problem in the in the lane against OD, I think it's more like the OD is just good in this game against the Timber Sword. You have a save against the Wyvern, and you are really good at busting down the slot. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll see what Emo can do here mid. I will say for Ocean, I know that they've only won one game, but there have been a lot of bright spots. I think this is a very young team, uh, an up-and-coming team. I, I want to say that I've really liked TZY and Ola. I know ZC's had some struggles over mid, but there are definitely some bright spots, and I and I really want to point those out because you know, despite seeing a record as bad as that, a lot of people are going to come in and say Ocean's a terrible team. But they got here. They played a, a qualifier that included Ame on CDC and you know a a bunch of good teams to get to this spot. Anyway, see, the only lane ZC has ever won, I think it was the coin toss lane. That was the only one we won. He he's won so far. Yeah, he, he's he lost his lane in almost <laughs> almost every game. He lost his lane. <laughs> he is uh, he was the shadow fiend player we were talking about. I'm pretty sure. Oh, the the one with the fifteen <laughs> uh, with the fifteen, 15 mangoes. mangoes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not rub salt into his wound. He's sad. I'm sure. Yeah. 
It definitely was a rough one. But yeah, this is, I mean, going through that qualifier, like, there's so much depth at the tier two area of the Chinese region. Like, they had to beat, they had to beat uh, King Gaming Luminous, which is a decent team. You know who, who is a team with Gintoki, Blink, and Ice Ice. I mean, I don't two... know who. Sorry. <laughs> it's uh, you know, you know, you know, you know him definitely. So, Radiant is going aggro and trailing, uh, like I suspected. The team is on the safe link. The battle begins. So your favorite player, TZY, is gonna own. Hey, wait, what? Monkeys bot? <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> I take that back. Oh, they have a wall behind the tower. That's why they knew. <laughs> this is very good. Like when whenever you get into this games where you want you want to enforce. A specific setup. All the wards uh, that scouts lane behind tower in the jungle that scouts all the rotations are really really cool. This one is a game winner right here. Ben. Right here. Put this ward in your pubs, Ben. I hey, always MMR. put this word in my pub. What, it's actually, actually one actually of the words I put all the time. <laughs> oh GG. I love it. I kill like ten couriers <laughs> a game. Oh, that's for the courier. I see. Not for the lane swap. <laughs> no, no, nobody in my uh, my rank is lane swapping. If anything, it's just somebody trying to be a greedy safe laner from the support rank role position. And if you swap lane, you get you actually get reported. Did not play role. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is uh, Fly Fly on probably one of his best heroes. I think when I used to watch yeah. him on King Gaming. And uh, Serenity, when he was GGG, he used to destroy with this Monkey King. Signature hero. Oh yeah, that is one of those, uh, a lot of people would say comfort heroes. Do you know the legend of the Monkey King? No, we don't tell stories here in America. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sure the movie was an ad in America. Uh, top lane, the tri lane starting to be aggressive. JT, you know, take a lot of hits from the slot. Yeah, he might even save be... Save me, Kaka, save me! It can can what? save him. First blood comes in and... from the Fissure of Fame. No, now you alternate the Impale. <laughs> you <feel the other. laughs> impale ready, Impale ready. <laughs> you, you can see he was like so indecisive. Um, should I stun the Shaker? Should I stun the slot? He was looking left and right, left and right, and JT was like, alright, mate. Just let me die. A lot of damage being Wait, done here to TZ. Maybe this is all the plan for Kaka all this while. Let the core die and get solo lane XP. Well, this is how we see him win, because he ends up picking an Ags on this hero, and then their team usually wins once the Nyx Assassins got that Ags. We saw that when they had that Roche fight, like, what, a couple days ago, and Kaka got the Ags and then ended up destroying with the Nyx to finish it off. A couple of days ago when you had internet. It was a good time then, when I had internet. A much uh, brighter future. So how about the mid lane? So as I expected, uh, Wind Ranger is uh, having a head start here against the OD, but OD isn't lagging too far behind, only 3 CS. Don't say that word. What? Lag. <laughs> Please. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> Why are you so superstitious? <laughs> Someone you tell thing... me, oh, I, I hope my internet is fine. Touch wood. Don't say anything bad about my internet. <laughs> I can, I can. I won't say any of those words. Superstition, it's what we're taught here. Nothing what? is. Uh, it's... Isn't that a Southeast Asia or China thing? Being superstitious <laughs> about certain stuff? I can see oh, that. If you don't finish your rice, your wife is going to have a lot of pimples. <sighs> Have you heard that one? I've never that's heard that one. Tell, that's how they tell you not to waste your right. Your future wife is going to have a lot of pimples. Uh, Glad I finished my dishes. Don't waste, yeah, don't waste the rice. Do you know how hard the farmers uh, work just to put that rice on your table? So finish it now. <laughs> you laugh, but that is literally what they say. Hey. <laughs> Have you not heard about it? Are you serious? No, I've never heard that one before. Ooh. Firefly? TZY? <laughs> he doesn't have mana for a timber chain away. 
He does have level two in the reactive armor. That's <sighs> I'm tough kill to get. I don't. We don't. Uh, the sayings like that aren't. Well, he definitely doesn't know you're there now, Kaka, with your courier coming over <laughs> mid. It's not mainstream. I, I don't think. Yeah, that, I don't think that's mainstream New York lingo. At least where I'm from. Don't Fissure you have out? Like Chinese people? Chinese people. Yeah. Oh, good impale on it. Do we do? We have, uh, especially here in New York. I feel like it's very diverse here. So none of them have ever t tell you this. No. Uh, it might actually maybe it's just a Southeast Asia thing. <laughs> the next time somebody says it to me, though, I'll, I'll remember. No, you should tell them finish your rides. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the one who brings it up. <laughs> Don't you know? You're gonna put your wife in a lot of hurt with those pimples. <laughs> I'm just surprised I'm gonna have a wife. It's gonna be great. I didn't think I was gonna find a girlfriend. Oh, you're, you're forgetting the catapult. One day offline and you forgot what I angry. No, it's five uh, minutes, 30 seconds. Skanks, we're already coming through though. You gotta wait for the catapult wave to come in and that's when your ganks usually show up. And here's X and Y as well as Faint. Spike Carapace, and the damage being done here to Emo might be enough. One more shot. There it is. Trying to get uphill. Fame ends up dead to Ollie, but they are unable to save that OD, so that is beneficial there for Oceanora. I say that. Kaka with a great two-man stun. ZC trying to get the killer there on Akaka and gets the double kill, finishing off the Nyx Assassin as well as getting a salve over from X and Y. That was a good trade from Ocean. Getting run down by the slug. Slug has all venom. Uh, doesn't look like he's gonna be able to get out of this. The slug wants his sweet agility bonus. Wait, what? He's actually letting him in. They don't. Okay. I don't think they would have had a way. He could just TP out. Another fissure hitting on the emo. Fame has been here constantly. Oh no, Kaka misses the stun. Monkey King wants to get this. Oh! Okay, maybe the. the okay, I don't think he intended to stun the team as well. He just wanted to lifesteal on creeps. I hope so. But this team saw has a lot of levels because he's placed in the safe lane instead. Even though he's behind CS wise, but he's gotten a lot of levels uh, from being on the safe lane. So Ocean's uh, lane. Uh, Lane swap has been, I would say, paying off overall for them. Stark is still doing really well in terms of last hit, and Timbersaw otherwise would have a, a shit game if he was on the off lane against. Radiance bottom tower. His game just got a little bit better. Royal Jelly coming in. I feel like that's a, a good one to have here for the Timbersaw at the moment. Good old natural honey. Refreshing, gets that extra HP and mana regen. Improves your immune system. <laughs> Same with garlic. Have a little bit of garlic. Crush yourself up a clove of garlic and then you're good. Kaka over bottom, they look over here for XMY. Balance Strike comes in, easy kill there on the Winter Wyvern. If they can't kill the Timber Saw, they might as well go for a support that joins them bottom in. It's a quick one there, but meanwhile, mid, Emo, Fissure blocking him away from getting up the stairs towards the north end of this lane. However, with the Astro Imprisonment, it shouldn't be hard for him to get back towards the tower. The game should be pretty slow right now. I don't think much will be happening until the 10 minute uh, runes. Uh, both sides. Oh, no, this fly Ooh, fly marketing the signature here. And he a lot should of be okay. But now Spike Carapace hits, Poison Touch, as well as the Impale. They're doing some damage here on a TZY. Some damage. Try to TP Excuse out. Me. Doesn't have Boundless Strike. Some He's damage, not a him. significant amount. They're just giving him some massage, you know? <laughs> that was literally no damage. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey King physical damage. There's a physical damage. Nix damage? Question mark? Yeah, I mean, uh, something's more than zero. So... It, it was so they damage. did one damage because one is more than zero. So they, they in theory did some damage. Exactly. Ban the mathematician. <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> uh, 
man, bottom again. They've got three heroes now setting up here with TZY, XMY, and Fame make the rotation over. Ollie, he'll sit near oh, as he's going to try and help his spot. Monkey King. Signature hero I heard, yeah, Monkey King. Let's try to gank you again. Doesn't even know he's going to get bullied, at least uh, in that one game. They knew that they were going to get bullied, but fly, fly, balance strike coming in. An easy kill there. They also oh, brought nice. ZC down here. They look That's over at Ollie. And the runes. Maybe even the outpost can Radiant secure the outpost top. Oh no, Mix is here. Stun, last set. He's gonna leap over Shadow Dance and. Oh, he should Shadow Dance and. Yeah, the time almost sanities? A lot of damage, I you know. Have, I would have reported him. Shadow Dance and take the outpost and die for the team. Thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, maybe no, he doesn't have enough time. Never mind. I'm dumb. Shadow Dance is 4 seconds. Uh, we need 6 seconds to steal the outpost. Fly Fly getting chased down again. This is a rough lane for him with TZY up so far. And the Splinter Blast, as well as the damage from TZY, almost enough to take out Ali. He's only level 4. TZY can wow. certainly chase under the tier 2 tower, but how far is he willing to go? Chakram, Shallow Grave, TP out. The Monkey King has committed 4 points in the jingle, but he is. Not really pulling the timber out of the lane anymore. This is not fun because right now, because you committed so many points, you're gonna have a hard time clearing out creep waves. And he even takes the ultimate in the next point, so his three dance is just gonna be a level one. This is gonna hurt his uh, progression as a hero. Interesting move there from TZY. Top of the net worth though, right now is Ola. A lot going into the defusal, and ZC is uh, second up on the list. Ocean is doing well in the laning phase. This is probably the best laning phase they've had up to this point. Balance Strike comes in, XMY taking a lot of damage. There's the Vendetta as well as the kill on XMY. Wukong's is committed here. Spike Carapace isn't enough to keep them close by. Great stun from Kaka once again. They've done a lot of damage to TZY, but is it enough damage? Oh! <gasps> Shallow Grave will save Fly Fly for now, but TZY certainly looking to chase. Timber Chain not going to connect on anything, so all of a sudden Timber Saw will uh, ultimately die here. And Fly Fly surviving thanks to the help of Ali. All right, the Jukes from Monkey King signature hero confirmed. That was a very nice sidestep to bait the Timber. <laughs> He sidesteps Wait, the timber, he also survives why, thanks to the shower is, grave of Ali. Why is the ZC Wind Ranger holding the Ironwood Tree? I think this item belongs to the timber saw. It's actually a very useful item on timber. You can always create your own timber chain. Oh, that timber you can timber? also... A timber has no neutral items, come on bro! That's his item. You can also create your own Whirling Death bonus. Or create your own shackle. Okay, the shackle shot probably is more, way more difficult than the timber chain. So you have to what? Go near and somehow <laughs> place the tree behind. <laughs> They're looking for Fly Fly, and I'm pretty sure that Splinter Blast followed him enough to know where he's at. Shackle comes shackle in, shot. and Fly Fly dazzles here once again with the Shallow Grave. The attempt to TP out oh, no. will be successful. Wyvern is level 5. How much would you pay for having an ultimate there? Just want to know, curious, if you are the Wyvern. To have it right I there? Would pay, yeah, I would. I would pay 200 gold. I would sacrifice my mango, my branches, my wand, just to have my level 6. I if thought you meant real was. money. I would have paid $5. You get that 4.99 freemium. <laughs> $5 for four ninety nine. Is that denied. worth it? Probably not. One king also working on defusal. He's sitting seven hundred behind this Sark. Shackle comes in. They've got the Sentry Ward down. I look over at Kaka. Spike Carapace through. Kaka trying to leave with the Whirling Death as well as the Timber Chain is enough to get the kill there. Good job by Firefly. Surviving for now, using that mischief to a benefit. Turning around for a moment, balance strike comes in, but it's just a tickle. TZ why not Middle caring bank. too much. And they'll find themselves fame. They should be able to get the kill. Echo slam. Uh, fame. Hello. 
They get the kill there onto the Earthshaker. Is ZC trying to turn this around on the Emo, but he's got the Astro Imprisonment. Rot of Athos. Wow, he has Rot of Athos. Is that a legit item this game? Do they actually lack a lot of disables? Hmm. I mean, like, Balance they Strike kind of, Pit of Malice kind of. I mean, they don't really have uh, a lag in damage, uh, stuns though. I feel like as does Astro a sneaks. Not sure. Let's see if he can get set up some kills with the Road of Athos with the pit. Mm -hmm. But if I don't get a Rod of Athos, what else would I buy? There's nothing I really want here. There's not one particular item that I really want in this scenario. I mean, the other thing I would consider is like maybe a Force Tough to get away from the Slug. Hmm. Timber Chain over, Sun hits now on the JT. And they look over TZY as well. Zola, they'll use the Shadow Grave early into this, but they've got oh, the Winter's Curse nice. on a three of these heroes. They'll try to Dark Rift out of this. JT trying to position himself well enough to pull the team away, but they've already got the kill on the Emo as well as Ali. Now they pull everyone out, and Fly Fly is left alone to try and survive. TPing back over will be JT, but it might be too late. They've got the kill here onto the Monkey King. Now they look over at J2. TP back into this one. A two man stun. JT, you got no way out of this. They'll try to run away. The Pit of Malice locks up these heroes again for a second, but the chase will be on and JT will eventually fall. Well, that's a big, big blow there for the Dire team, losing all three cores in the engagement. I mean, this is why I, I, I'm not very sure about like the Athos. It does give you 10 strength, but I felt like they were lacking someone that could stand in front for that fight. Like Monkey King and Oldie, does, they do not want to go first, you know. They do not want to be the target that the enemy jumps on. And Underlord, because he has a Rod of Aethos, he feels like you're in a weird spot, right? You have Rod of Aethos. You don't really want to stand in front. Hmm. It, just, it definitely, that fight felt really sloppy too from IG. Yeah, I think if he would have got a hood first, then got a Rod of Aethos, I would feel much better about it. Because then he, it, they would... Uh, be able to use the underlord as a you know damage sponge, so you're gonna absorb a lot of like punishment, and you're gonna allow your OD and Monkey King to do their thing in fights. You even have a dazzle, so the more tanky items you go, the better for the dazzle. So right now, uh, Bayer has to play catch up, so they need to huddle down in this uh, area. Defend this area with wards and make sure they stack and farm here. And Radiant team has this whole map. And all the lane. That Emo is taking a lot of damage. And now they've got the Sanities. They look over TZY. They have the Astro Imprisonment. And TZY, another Timber Chain attempt away. Kaka, the Shackle doesn't land. There's no trees there for it to land on, but they've got the Diffusal coming in from Oli. So chase down the Nyx Assassin, Kaka. Hit with the shallow grave, but they've got the pounce to leash. Now the impale comes in, but there's no turnaround coming through from the side of IG, and eventually they will run down this Nyx assassin. I mean, this is also like another problem because the monkey kid has one point in three dance. When you have one point in three dance and your team is losing and you can't, you feel awful in the game. You can't clear out the waves, and as a result of that, you're gonna slowly fall behind further. And Emo is getting trapped here. Does he have a way out of this? Pressure coming in from Ocean is all right. This is uh, this is like a big upgrade. OD has the eggs. They need to wait for the next sanity eclipse. Try to defend uh, an area. Use the ward. And wait for Radiant to come. Or maybe you can smoke out and try to engage. But uh, I don't really like Dyer's chances if they smoke out to try to look for a fight instead of uh, defending. I think defending is probably the more reasonable choice here for our Dyer. We've seen a couple of ODs go different directions, like four staff in two nags, or even we've seen Midas in a Lincoln, some weird builds coming through for ODs, but I, I personally, I'm a fan of the Ags first. Three charges, bro. Three charges, bro. Get two Astro off, six charges, you do damage with ultimate. 
It's simple as that. And it gives you a lot of stats, HP. So it allows you to you fight very well. I think this is one of the, in my opinion, the best uh, traditional items or mid game item for OD. I don't really fancy like, getting a 4 star so much right now, unless you are against like some clockwork or you really need the 4 star. You know, otherwise I think it's just really good if you're able to get Aghanims as your first item. So, Firefly certainly feels like he's struggling at times. He's only got 6,700 net worth. Here comes the ocean. This could be a big fight. Trying, trying to drown the Dyer here with the ocean. They have the high ground. IG, don't run up the high ground. Okay, Malice comes in, Radovatos is out on a fame. They already got the kill here on Akaka. That's off screen. They're gonna Dark Rift immediately to try and leave. There's the Winter's Curse. Ali and Flyfly, they're not walking into the Dark Rift, or at least Flyfly, he stayed outside of the circle for some reason. That was strange. Why wouldn't you just run next to the Underlord? I don't think the curse matters that much, though. I mean, if he dies, you die anyway. Like, I mean, it's whatever, you know. If he doesn't get in the rift, there's no way he can escape. Uh, I guess the, the curse looked weird initially. Like, why would you curse the underlord there? But maybe he had the idea of doing that, you know? So the teammates won't go next to him and emo. Looks like he's gonna be alright here. Oh, wow, looking for a target. I popped down a sentry ward, or uh, unable to find anybody in that situation. And this Monkey King feels so sad with that one point in three dance. I'm telling you. He's trying to get a PvP right now. I made it late. Yeah, they'll look nice over stroke. for this Winter Wyvern and get an easy kill, XMY. Gonna be killed off by Emo, so he'll grab himself yet another. And I believe that is uh, four staff on the way. Yep, four staff is very useful this game, in particular the slot. Getting out of the Fidger block. You know, all in all, I don't think you can say getting four stuff is like a, a wrong choice, you know. Like four stuff is probably the most useful item in the game. <laughs> Cost to what it does. Like you're paying 2k gold for something that will allow you to save yourself or your teammate. I get triggered sometimes when I see support players. They get uh, Aether Lens when they could get the boss stuff. And bot lane. They've got the Winter's G -G -G. Curse. Can you get the out? Fly, the fly, get out. They've got the Dark Rift. Oh, they bring Ali with them. No man gets left behind. This time they take the train. The train? The Uber. the Uber. It's been called, yeah, you know. Why would you call it a train? I don't know. A little more social distancing. Uber, you're confined to just one car. Now they're going to try and get kills here on his EC. He pops the BKB. The Wukong's command comes out from Flyfly. Fly. Balance strike out as well as the Diffuse away coming through on a fame, but they've got the cold embrace to keep him alive a little bit longer. Can they kill off the Earthshaker and then go for the rest of the team is the question. They've got themselves at least one, and the BKB was used nice. there by ZC to get nothing. Nice try with the Shadow Amulet, but Dyer was ready with a Sentry. So, can they do anything with this kill on the Shaker? Monkey King still does not have BKB, but OD is very strong right now with the post up and Agadims. So, they're gonna be able to secure this tower. Dark Reef is still on cooldown for 40 seconds. I think this spell is particularly important for them to have when they're trying to take any uh, big engage. It's like their get out of jail free card, you know? You can always try to fight and you have something to fall back on every time. And when you win the fight, you can Dark Rift to an, uh, near, uh, a better position to stitch the base. The spell is not that easy to use it as well. Sometimes you can use it like, uh, like you're here, and you Dark Rift backwards to save just one, one hero so that you guys can come back to the... I think we saw that uh, in the E-Home game when uh, Faith Band did like, uh, uh, a smart Dark Rift like this. It was the day ago. Uh, what? Was it a couple days ago? Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Though. It might be the day before. I'm not sure. Uh, Eho Probably Master, yesterday. They had the Underworld. It's one of those tiers where you 
you can do a lot of things with your uh, with your ultimate. There's a lot of uh, ideas that can be executed with it. They even did like a surprise smoke dark wave to get a kill on the carry. It was very nice. And right now, uh, Radiant is trying to reclaim the bottom area. They're gonna run into the dazzle. Fissure out here. hitting both the dazzle as well as the OD. And now they need to get this kill out on the emo, but they won't be able to get it without the uh, shackle or I mean, fissure. Is, this is why that's very important that you have vision on both ends of the map. So you see what? There's no hero here. So Radiant immediately runs bottom with a smoke. Anticipating the, uh, the enemy to be around here. It was just a bit unlucky. They didn't get the OD. They got the Dazzle instead. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Dazzle was in the right position. He was on the break the screen. And Dark Rift, after securing the outpost, another good use. Wow, what was that? Power Shot? Yeah, Power Shot right. ends up killing He's off Kaka. Just to steal the kill. <laughs> um, Bounty Rift and slam? Echo Slam on the OD. Yeah, they might be able to get the kill here on the Emo Power Shot from a distance again. They get the kill big there big onto kill. the OD. Big, big kill here. Thanks to this officer. Right here. Vision wins games. It looks like a dire ward, but it's a radiant ward. <laughs> they are... Now that's gonna give them rush. Certainly rolling ahead here. And they're about to get themselves an Aegis. And I don't think there's much that IG can say about this. They need the OD to try and fight, and without him, it's not worth even trying the attempt. So what is their power spy right now? They definitely need a... Uh, I think the OD needs to get a behavior. You know, he's getting... He's getting what? Bloodstone? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, you know, we've seen so many games where someone doesn't want to buy BKB and we all know how the games ended. <laughs> they do have a BKB on Monkey King, is that enough though? But and a double damage. The OD is the damage here. Yeah. Shackle, uh -oh. power shot. I was looking for the spike carapace, now they've got the chakram fly fly popping that BKB. Fills sure up in the air as ZC. They followed up with an impale, now they look for the Wukong's command and with the Pit of Malice. The balance strike comes in as well as the silence. Can they get the kill here onto the Windrunner? For at least the first life, he's got a BKB and an MKB ready to go on this second life. So do IG just here. disengage? They already got the kill on Akaka, the double astral imprisonment, emo ready with a sanities if they are to continue to jump on forward. Still, they traded, a, uh, they traded one hero for the Aegis. That's pretty decent for IG as support. But they did have, uh, have to expand uh, the 10 second BKB on the Monkey King. You see, actually, not getting BKB. I feel like we're not. What is the OD gonna do in a fight when he doesn't have BKB? Uh, he's gonna get stunned uh, and stunned and stunned. Like, Good shackle. There's the BKB. They're gonna look over to get this kill on the emo, but they've got themselves the shallow oh, grave. Nice. However, the Winter's Curse Very is nice. there. They'll get the kill on a the one. They've dove past the tier three and they're under the tier fours, but they don't really care. They'll get the kill on the Ollie now, taking out a second. They don't have buyback on the OD. The Echo Slam comes in. Is it enough damage to kill off five? Why it is. With the fissure that followed it up. JT now sitting low. Ola continuing to move forward. This Slark sitting here with 20 essence shift. Will eventually back off with the stun coming in from Kaka. Potentially to get the kill here onto JT. But back into the fight he goes. They look over. The Shadow Grave runs out. They have the fissure. The lockdown is there. And they get themselves yet another kill. Three heroes without buyback. And the high ground is going to be taken. Well, this game looks like it's going to be over. IG being the favorites here but this game ocean able to win their lanes transition into the mid game with this uh, i mean this wind ranger has been working wonders in this game that's why i was uh, very surprised with uh, the od last pick against the wind ranger i felt like he, he doesn't do really well against wind ranger and kaka trying to land uh, multiple hero stun here I'm not sure how much he's gonna do to prevent the racks going down but it seems like Raiden doesn't really want to pursue the issue. Mm. Roshan is still gonna be a long time. So right now, Raiden, they... They kind of... What items are they lacking? They have BKB on Green Ranger. She's building an axe. Slug already has everything he needs. BKB, Shadow Blade, Bash. 
Yeah, I don't really feel like they're gonna get any much stronger than this. What, uh, what, what does IG need if that Ag is gonna come in here for the Windrunner eventually to hold out? They're looking for the Heaven's Halberd for yeah. the Underlord, which is a little while out. It seems like things yeah, are still, just not coming. I still think the OD has to get a heavy. You know? like, he's getting stunned by like Fissure Shackle and he's dead every fight. Like, what is he going to do without BKB? Is he going to rely on the Dazzle to save him every time? But I think even if the Dazzle has a grape of him, what good are you to your team when you are at last, like, great HP, like 100 HP? He needs to be able to avoid the controls. And, uh, yeah, sure, the Violent can curse you. But that's, that, and that's the only spell that can stop you, you know? Everything else doesn't. Ocean coming bottom. Fly fly nearby. Smoke ends up broken. They've got the dust. And now they look over for five fly just avoiding the chakram. And now again, they're trying to clean up these trees to make sure that five fly can't get away, but just able to escape uh, with the tree dance. Now I see why TZY is your favorite player. He has some spider senses. There. He'll make the play. He'll at least try to. I mean, I think Raiden should just go right now. Are they really gonna wait for the eggs on the Green Ranger? I don't think it's really that important. They should just go. I don't think they should let Dyer recover and farm until the OD has another item. Also, I don't so know if you noticed, but Emo going into a Hurricane Pike, trading off that Bloodstone. I still think... He probably doesn't right click anyone in the fights anyway. Even with that extra that range. I mean, the only way I see this OD doing damage is, is if the Monkey King is the focus, right? He runs in, he jumps in for the Wukong, Radiant focuses him. He gets grave and OD was right clicking, right clicking all this while getting a double astro on the timber and the slug. Boom! Ultimate. And someone dies. That is the only way I see the OD able to uh, do a lot. But if the Shaker waits for the OD, like, I, I think the Wind Ranger doesn't have to wait for the OD to appear. The Shaker can wait for him. Just wait, just be patient, you know. All you need to do is control the OD. Fight's over. Screw the other heroes, just wait for OD. He has no BKB, punish him. He ends up buying out on that Hurricane Pike too. So no BKB to work with. Five Fly trying to get into an MKB. Kaka, the Ags is, is a pipe dream at this point. I've got the Halberd though. Finally here for JT. Silver Edge for Slark, and he's going into the Abyssal. He's not too far off of it. IG Potential looking like they want to be the aggressors on this one, but they've got the Glimmer Cape coming through. Rod of Atos is out on TZY. Shackle Shot as well as the Fissure hitting on a Kaka, and now Kaka has been silenced for a moment. Ocean staying near. Master Imprisonment out on Oa. The right clicks come through. The damage on Oa is pretty heavy. They've got the Shallow Grave. There is the Winter's Curse coming through. That pulls the Monkey King off the tree. Kaka surviving for now, but finally ZC gets the kill. I believe that was an Echo Slam that came off the side of the screen. It's not going to matter, though. Emo already dead, and he doesn't have buyback. The BKBs have been popped by both ZC and Ola to survive and continue forward. I mean, and instead, IG will happened? just call GG. Look at what happened again. Fissure on OD, Shaka on OD, and OD dead. Every fight. Every fight is the same story. And this is... Like they even used to, they even used the curse to start a fight on him yeah, initially, but they didn't change their stance perfectly. So after the curse, Odi was like kind of running around a little bit, casting his spells, and then he got stunned by Vigil and Shackle, and you know, that, that was it. You know, once Odi dies, yeah, it just never came together. Maybe the lack of the BKB on the OD, but uh, I mean, like you said, Winter's Curse, Fissured, he's dead. Even with the Echo Slam from Fame, whiffing. In Did that fight, they got overwhelmed. Yeah, I think he got hit 
Um, where Dune blink in, I think his blink got canceled and Not he echoed no off worries. to the side. Yeah, unneeded. Not needed. <sighs> But again, you know, going back to the last pick, I'm not sure like if OD, OD was able to like finish this game. Like maybe it wasn't. It looks like it was okay the pick itself. But uh, at the same time, because the laning phase didn't go well for the OD, so it felt like the hero was like on the back foot from the get go. And you are the twenty second pick. You know, when you pick a hero, you're the last pick overall last pick, and you lose your lane. It doesn't feel good at all because your teammates probably has a hard, hard time in the lane already because you're second pick so it means that you're picking your side lanes first and the enemy is reacting towards your side lane so more or less you have to expect that your teammates are going to have some issues with the laning phase and if you choose your last pick and you're not going to do well in your lane then you're, you guys are going to be in a lot of trouble you know and it was finally Ocean putting together a good laning phase into a extremely good game from them 10-0-8 yeah. there for ZC this timber saw is this hero is a problem man he got countered but i have to comment ocean for switching up their lanes so that even though it, timber saw lane against monkey kings in the end but because he was given the safe lane i think that was like a life saver for timber he was able to get some levels you know out of the lane even though he still lost the lane but he got levels and some decent amount of farm that uh, actually allowed the timber to play the game yeah, and, and TZY ends up being one of the most important parts put together with this lineup here for Ocean. So they take game one. We'll see if they could take the Series 2 over IG, which would be a huge upset. I don't know what their odds are to 2-0 this series. I have no idea what their odds are to even win a game or win the series. But we'll be back with game the odds, two. The odds are the same as your internet going down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Although that would be pretty common at this moment. So the odds would be uh, very favorable. So we'll see uh, Ocean if they could take a 2-0 over IG. IG, what they're going to put together here for Game 2 and uh, what's coming up next. So Ocean IG, we'll be back in a moment. Stay right there. <laughs> 